Hello traders, uh, US500 uh, in today's daily video analysis. Uh, read this disclaimer, don't forget to, to read it and if you have questions you can send an email to support. So um, yeah, um, yesterday guys, uh, the US CB consumer confidence better than expected, existing home sales better than expected. Today, mixed economic data, unfortunately the final uh, GDP gross domestic product uh, only 4.9% uh, growth versus 5.2 expected unemployment claims better than expected but uh, worse compared to the previous reporting period so um, yeah mixed economic data unfortunately for the for the US dollar also uh, the Canadian uh, retail sales uh, um, Retail sales and core retail sales uh, came in better compared to the previous uh, reporting uh, period. And uh, let's take a look here because personally I want to talk about uh, US uh, 500. Uh, DXY first of all, DXY. Yeah, the, um, the dollar index um, remains uh, remains uh, bearish but it, uh, um, right now is almost uh, to, to reach uh, this former low 101.77 it remains to see how it will react today I've talked about uh, the DXY in my market breakdown video for the for the VIP group and I've said that um, after uh, escaping from this uh, pattern here also breakdown test retest it could uh, it could drop again here in the short term and let's uh, take a look uh, US 500 uh, massive massive sell-off uh, last night um, after this yeah impressive upwards movement strong uh, growth uh, impressive upwards movement as I've said right and right now yeah it has registered only false breakdown now uh, with a great uh, separation maybe below uh, 46 93.5 uh, rally a rebound and um, maybe in the short term this could um, yeah this was natural after this uh, impressive sell-off but um as i've said guys uh, maybe this could uh, this could represent a potential a potential flag pattern okay a potential bearish pattern but we still need uh, we still need the, that um, that confirmation maybe something like this so, yeah if we'll use uh, uh yeah here as a flag pattern rally um and um as long as it stays above let's use uh, this former low because we have a demand zone uh short term immediate um, a short term uh, um demand zone as long as it stays above 4720 uh maybe this could be only a temporary retreat to test retest the, the buying zone and then boom okay it could uh, jump higher it could extend its uh, its growth and uh, um but yeah but uh, if it uh, if it fails uh, to make a new higher high to take out uh, 47 um, 47 45 or uh, if it uh, takes out uh, if, if it uh, invalidates this uh, this demand zone if the price drops closes uh, and stabilizes below 47.20 then it could open the door for a potential downside uh, movement right now I'll wait to see how to react here in the short uh, in the short uh, in the short term around uh, maybe the buying zone here yeah because it has uh, it has already reached uh, this uh, this uh, imbalance here rally a new retreat it remains to see and as i said if it drops below that former low it could uh, pop on the door for a potential downside movement it could activate that uh, that flag pattern and only uh taking out uh, because right now you can see that um, um here around uh, this these levels we have uh, exhausted buyers we have uh, maybe a strong downside pressure and uh, if it fails uh, to take out the former high then boom yeah it could uh, turn to the downside okay don't forget that uh, yeah tomorrow 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 um the U.S. is to release uh, the core uh, price index as a uh, high impact event, revised University of Michigan consumer sentiment, uh, durable good orders, core durable good orders, personal income, personal spending, uh, all these uh, new home sales should have a big impact on, uh, on U.S. 500 guys. Don't forget to read the disclaimer and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye.